everybody. Today's episode is on holistic and organic body care and hygiene. Um, this is something that uh, somebody asked me about, about buying organic or holistic shampoo without spending a lot of money. Uh, they do get pretty spendy. It's definitely a lot cheaper to go get a generic brand from your grocery store. I tried the no pooing, just using baking soda in my hair, and I didn't like the way that felt. So I tried just the coconut oil, and that didn't wash out very well. And then I tried just the Castile soap in my hair, and that didn't work out very well either. It wasn't, uh, it was kind of sticky and made my hair look dull, and uh, just didn't work. I didn't like it at all. So I made my own coconut oil and baking soda, what I'm calling a... Uh, scalp scrub instead of a shampoo because it has to be used with a soap. The coconut oil does need to be washed out some. You can't just, it's pretty greasy if you just leave it in there. So um, this is what I came up with and the ingredients will be on the link, or not the link, <laughs> on the description below. Um, it starts out looking kind of powdery like this. You just want to warm it up with your hand. If you're going to use mine, it comes rather creamy like that. If you want to use mine, you want to take a pretty big spoonful and warm it up in your hand and then scrub it into your scalp. You'll want to use a warm wash and then a cool wash. And I followed it up with a Castile bar soap wash. I like the bar soap over the liquid soap. I think it feels much better and leaves my hair much nicer afterwards. So uh, this is the bar that I use at Dr. Bronner's. Um, and I just got a real good frothy handful and then rub that in afterwards. You might want to do it twice if you don't want so much of the coconut oil to stay in your hair. Okay, there's that part. Um, as far as hair care goes, if you want to do that once and then alternate it with a different shampoo. This is the one that I use. This is the Desert Essences Tea Tree Oil Shampoo. I prefer the Tea Tree Oil one over the others because the ones that come in the tubes don't have quite as good of ingredients. This is a mostly organic and good product. It's actually one that's suggested as being one of the better ones by Karina Rachel from Psyche Truth. She does these uh, product comparisons all the time and this is one of the better ones. If you can't find this in your grocery store, you can buy this at Vitacost, and it's still a lot cheaper than a lot of the other brands out there. Vitacost has this and several other things. I use another product of theirs, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, you probably only want to wash your hair, hair every two or three days. Washing it every day can uh, strip your hair of, of things that it needs there. If you're using something to wash your hair every day, I've never done that so I don't know how well the Desert Essences is going to do that and you probably don't want to use my scalp scrub because if you're using that every day the buildup is going to get way too oily. <laughs> okay, so there's the hair care part. Um, uh, the other product that I use from Desert Essences is, is their face scrub. I actually use this to wash the children and I use it in their hair. Basically all this is is a liquid Castile soap with other things in it. Uh, it's got tea tree leaf, um, a few things that I don't know, but it's got golden seal root and uh, bladder whack and a couple other things. It's lavender is in it. If you're um, allergic to lavender or you have a problem with lavender, you don't want to do this one. I've heard a lot of people are allergic to lavender and I don't seem to have a problem with it. Anyway, I really like this uh, face wash. This is what I use on days that I don't use my own face scrub. And that should be at Vitacost too. This is my toothpaste dash face scrub. This is a coconut oil and baking soda. It smells good. And salt and then it has a little bit of orange in it. I like the orange for this one, orange oil instead of the lavender. I use this on my face and I use this to brush my teeth. It's just a, a really nice face scrub, but it is the toothpaste recipe from, uh, goodness, I can't remember the name of it all of a sudden, but it's always on my Facebook, so I'll go ahead and provide that later where I got that recipe from. 
I use every once in a while a vitamin E oil from Jason because this is a cheaper brand and it's not all vitamin E oil. This has other oils in it. But it is mostly organic so you don't have to worry about getting a GMO oil in here. I really like the way this one feels and I use that on my skin sometimes. As well as just plain old coconut oil. Um, I buy the one at Costco. It's a suggested brand. It's a Nutra... Nutra something. I'll have to get that for you guys later too. I'll put that in the description. The only thing that I use on my body or my face that's not completely um, a holistic product is uh, the Burt's Bees Radiance Cream. I use that around my eyes. I don't know what uh, a lot of the products in here are. I've never gone through and looked up every single one, but I do know that these aren't all things that you can just easily pronounce. So you would, if you wanted to use this one, you would want to go on and see if this is actually a product that you agree with. I don't have a problem with using it. Um, so I use this just around my eyes. I don't use this anywhere else. That basically covers it. Um, if you wanted to use either of the scrubs, the scalp scrub or the toothpaste dash face scrub on your feet, that's easily adaptable. You just put pepper oil in it with a little bit of tea tree oil and then it's converted to a scrub for your feet. Or you could use it as a scrub for your body. I'm sorry, baby, but you can't chew on paper. Would you like to see that? Oh, I forgot this. I just noticed that. I use Earth Mama Angel Baby's Nipple Butter. Basically, all this is is calendula cream. So if you have a calendula cream that you want to use for something else, that's fine. This is olive oil, organic cocoa butter. There you go, baby. And calendula. At least I think that's all that's in there. Shea butter, calendula, mango butter, and more calendula, flower extract. So it's just calendula cream. Um, we have made our own in the past, but it's pretty labor intensive as far as I'm concerned. And buying bulk amounts of shea butter or cocoa butter yeah. is just a lot of money for me to spend all at once. And then where am I going to store it? Because I live in a 640 square foot house. So. <laughs> It's a very small house and we have a limited amount of storage space. But um, I will go ahead and provide the link below if you guys want to, or not, God, I keep saying that, the description of the ingredients for the scalp scrub if you guys want to go ahead and use that. And I hope that using VitaCost is a good alternative for you guys to buy a cheaper shampoo or or any you know body care products they are pretty cheap but I don't know once you figure in shipping if that still makes it cheaper I assume if you buy more that the shipping is going to be cheaper and it might be a good idea to wait until you have a little bit of extra money we usually wait till the taxes and then we go ahead and buy a larger quantity all at once so hopefully this video has helped just a little bit and um, you guys can find it just a little easier to buy organic healthcare products. And we will see you next time. Bye.